Hello. Oh, hey, Kristen. Oh, Nash. This is Steve Day from the Domino's. A Domino? Yeah, Domino's Pizza. Listen, ma'am, you need to stop ordering pizzas for your neighbors. We know it's you. They all know it's you. You need to cut it out. I'm not ordering no pizza. Oh, I yes, you are. You about. know exactly what you're doing. You need to cut that I out. You need to... Call the person to give them a number because I've never ordered my neighbor a pizza. You need to grow up, ma'am. You know, this stuff no, you're doing... No, you need to grow up. Call the police and put a file a report because I'm telling you, I have never ordered my neighbor a pizza. Why, why did you get all defensive then? Because we know you've been doing this for what? years. You've been doing this for years. Rick, come here. Come here. Come here. Talk to my husband about this. No, I don't want to. You, you need I'm to. I'm sorry, I'm ordering my neighbors a pizza. No, no, we're not. Oh yeah, that's no, what that's, that's what you would say if you were doing it. I know, I know your tricks. No, your lies. Here's something to the police number seven one, and give them my number. I have never ordered a pizza for a neighbor of mine. Why? I don't do even you, have a neighbor. Why do you know the police's number? You sound very dramatic. Because I live in. Right on 25 Mile Road. I've never ordered a pizza we know where from my neighbor. Live. You're always sending pizzas to your various neighbors, and they all they all suspect no, you. Not. And we have, I don't even know my neighbor. Man, we have caller what ID. Are and, what are you trying to say, dude? What, what are you saying? We ordered a pizza? And you know what, sir? That wife of yours, she was answering the phone with silly voices and being being all I weird know, at well, me. Look at, look so at, it's obvious no she likes to play on the phone. No, we don't order no pizza. You need to tell, 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 tell that wife of yours to stop playing games. What games? Oh, her little pizza ordering games, just so she can there's stand no, at the window no and coming out of here, watch, watch the. No, she she keeps ordering pizzas, fake pizza orders for all the neighbors. No, she's not. Oh yes, she's, she's not. not. Maybe somebody's got her identity or something, but she oh, ain't no. ordering pizza. Sir, we have caller no, ID. <laughs> So, Love I don't know what to tell you, bro. Reported, you tell her to shut so up. Just it. tell her to shut you know, up. Go fuck yourself, asshole. Bye. You're listening to the Stump House Show. Royce and Bell is on the radio. Sensei Dye is working right next door. Please don't give him steak as anymore. Chad's been working on your roof at home. I think you better just... Hi, everybody. This is the Snowplow Show, and I'm your host, Brad. Today is February 25th, 2022, and this show is brought to you by The Sailboat, your boy John Cena, The Anti-Chris, Lord and Lady of Veggies, and The Least Creative. They all support the show on the Patreon. If you want an extra show, sometimes two, usually every week, then you should also be on the Patreon or on the Spotify or hopefully on the Apple soon. I'm going to set up the Apple thing. People have been telling me to set up the Apple. I'm going to set up the Apple, you guys. Now that I'm finally disbanding my own website of the membership thing, finally. All right, so we have a few things to go over before the show gets started. Number one would be that intro song. That was by Vista Blue. The music you're hearing in the background right now, it's by Vista Blue. Thanks, Vista Blue, for that intro song. And Vista Blue is also the one who set up a Snowplow Show album Kickstarter a long time ago, way back in 2021 for a vinyl record and there's been a bunch of delays and stuff but he has finally received the vinyl and a lot of people are starting to get them in the mail i need to go check my p.o box and see if i've gotten mine yet so that's pretty exciting a vinyl record of snowplow show songs by vista blue and joe devita and reefer badness and who else i can't i don't even know where the website is for this thing for this album you can still order copies of the vinyl album by going to the link in the show notes that will be there I won't forget, or you can just listen to the digital album, you can get a CD version of it, because people love CDs in 2022, I've noticed. So you are required to own this album if you enjoy this show. Honestly, it's a little bit weird that you like this show, but you're not going to buy the album. What's wrong with you? I've had my CD version of the album for a while now, and I assume it'd be fun to listen to. I don't have a CD player in the house, or in the car. But one of these days, I'm going to buy a CD player again just to play this album. I have listened to the Bandcamp version, though. It's kind of cool to hear all the songs in one place. So, new album by Vista Blue. Go get it. This week, I was on Devin's show again. She's been gone for a couple weeks, but she finally came back this week. I was on at least half of her show, and we did stuff like this. Don't stir me, you cocksucker. How dare you call me a cocksucker? What do you want from me? 
I'm a Christian, sir. I don't care what you are. What are you calling me for? Don't you ever lick your lips at my wife. You goddamn son of a bitch. I didn't lick my lips at your wife. Who'd I don't even know at? who you are or who who'd your you, wife is. Who'd you lick him at then? I don't even know where you were when this happened. I'm going to tell your wife. Why don't you tell me your name? I'm going to tell your wife you're licking your lips at my wife. You you go right ahead and tell her. I'm 84 years old. I don't lick at too many people's lips. How many people's who, lips do you lick to? Who are you? Oh, oh, avoiding the question now. Oh, what do you want to know? Honey, get back on the phone. He's avoiding the question. Sir, oh, you were you definitely suck. licking your lips at me, you sick I was bastard. not licking my lips, you fucking bitch. How dare you call my cunt a bitch? <laughs> How dare you call her a cunt, you son of a bitch? Hey, I call her what I oh, want. She's my he's cunt. white knighting me. I don't right care now. what you do. What are you calling me for? That guy was a lot of fun to talk to. We called back later, and I talked to his wife, and it was incredibly boring. So, if you want to hear the incredibly boring sequel to that call, go listen to Devin's show that happened on February 23rd. She does a show every Wednesday night, except for the times that she doesn't do a show, like the previous two weeks. Links are in the show notes. Tim Henson from the Distorted View podcast, he played one of my calls on his show where I stole his identity. Which one was it? I can't remember. I think I was saying some weird shit to a landlord. So he played that call and then he ranted about me for a little while. I don't think he appreciates what I'm doing. Brad Carter is once again ruining my life and besmirching my name in addition to identity theft and fraud. And while I don't necessarily have any hard evidence, if I were the authorities, I would take a deep look into his laptop hard drives. You're telling me that someone that sounds like this? After you left, I thought your bed sheet smelled nice, so I took him home with me. Doesn't have some questionable pornography on his computer. Look, I'm just playing the odds here. I bet if you look, you'll find something. Fuck no. you. You took my fucking bed sheets home. Yeah, but then when I brought them back, they're like, they there's, good. there's pee all over these. And then they said that the person who they belong to had to Where pay the fuck for them. are you? You took my bed sheets home because they Just, smelled good? Oh, that Brad Carter. He's always monkeying around. Crap, crap, you guys. Tim Henson found the audio of me looking for women's stained bed sheets, I guess. I don't even remember doing that call. I don't know what that's from. I don't know how Tim managed to find that one. But thanks a lot, Tim. And if you guys want to hear the full call and the rest of his shit talking about me, go listen to Distorted View at distortedview.com. It's my favorite non-prank call podcast. And of course, here I am trying to turn it into a prank call podcast. And I think it's working. I think Tim's going to end up doing nothing but prank calls. One last thing before we get started, and that is prankcast.com. There are several people broadcasting on this new prank call streaming service thing that Milkbox has set up for us. And that includes Milkbox, Dragon Mirror, and Wasted Memory. I don't know who else is using it. I'm sure other people are too. But those are the shows that I've caught on it so far. It's basically like a Mixler replacement. So if you're sick of Mixler, like most of us are, then you should give this website a try. It's prankcast.com. I'm definitely going to give it a try eventually once I start doing live shows again. So thank you, Milkbox, for setting this up. Everyone, please go check it out, prankcast.com. This intro is getting way too long. I'm going to play this thing that Dirty Dr. Dan sent to me, and then we're going to do some pranks. You are listening to the Snowplow. Shut the fuck up. You are listening to the Snowplow Show. Now here's Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez? I love you like a love song, baby. I love you like a love song, baby. I love you like a love song, baby. Hello? Hi, Melanie. Melanie? Yeah, Hello? it's it's your neighbor. It's Roy. Who's Roy? Uh, Roy is your bell. I have no idea who you are, and this isn't Melanie, and you got the wrong number. Listen here, Melanie. I know it's you. Hello? Even though it's the wrong number, why do you have to be such a bitch like that? Why can't you just why politely... Why are you a fucking bastard asking why, why questions you just that you have politely. no business? Fuck. You want... My father's a cop. He's in the other room. You want to talk to him? Sure. I'll be whatever. i to hand her over. I bet you he's yeah, not a cop. He's calling, harassing us. No, I'm he not. No idea I'm just calling. Are. Really? And I got a wrong yeah. number, he's and you were a total bitch. He's cussing me out and harassing me. Well, who is this piece of shit? Hello. Man, sir, I just need to let you know that that lady, that she's a total bitch. 
You know, I just got a wrong number, that's all. I thought I was calling my neighbor. But she just had to be a total bitch about it. I was trying to call my neighbor, Bellany. And she just... Bellany? Who is Bellany? Uh, Bellany's my, my neighbor. And I, I guess I got a wrong number. What's her, what's Sorry. Bellany's last Sorry name? For the, well, don't worry about it. She said she's not... No, I'm she's, worried about it. She said Why she's not Bellany, you, you motherfucker. Wait a minute. What? Where do you live? Are you really a cop? I kind of don't believe that where part do, of this whole idea. Where do you idea. leave? Where do you live? I live in... Do you? And who are you calling for? I'm calling Bellany? for... For Bellany. Bellany? Yeah. Why don't you spell that? No. I, why Why do you need to know how it's spelled? Because like, you, you call my phone, and we don't, don't even, even use this phone, and there's no one needs to know. Look, just teach that lady how, how to answer a phone and how to politely say, oh, you have the wrong number. I will let you go now. Click. That's all she had to do. She didn't have to be a total fucking bitch about it. Lady, I know you're listening. You're a total fucking bitch. No, she's not listening at all. I bet she is. Why should she? Why'd she tell me that you're a cop? I want to understand. I'd like to understand who you're calling. How Just tell me who it is. Oh, That's I told you a, bun to a bunch of times. I, I was calling for Bellany. Is it Bell? B-E-L? Why? Bell. B-E-L-A-N-Y. Is, is, this your, is, this, is this your cop uh, investigation? Are you doing your investigation because you're the cop of the household? You're an absolute fool. Because she told me you're a cop. But I kind of don't believe that. I think you're more likely not a cop. <laughs> well, there's the first call of the day. It was the wrong number. I was trying to call Melanie, which he thought was... Why did he need Melanie's name? Why did he need that spelled for him? Why did he want my name? Maybe that lady really was Melanie, and she was just lying to me. That's gotta be it, right? So while I was yelling at her, she was yelling at me, and I'm not sure what she was saying, but it sounded pretty good, so I'm gonna take her side of the conversation and just paste it right here, just in case she said some really awesome stuff. So here's her yelling that was probably covered up by my yelling. You want... My father's a cop. He's in the other room. You want to talk to him? I'll be fucking happy to hand her over. Come here and talk to this guy. He's calling, harassing us, and we have no idea who you are. Really? Really? He's asking for Melanie. He's cussing me out and harassing me. Well, who is this stupid shit? Hello. Her voice is really low at the very end, but I heard her say, who is this stupid shit? So at this point, I should just end the show because that's going to end up being the best call. Yes, Hello. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I had to sneeze. Hey, it's your neighbor. It's Roy. Roy? Yeah. Roy, down the street. Okay, what street? Uh, well, I'm on the too, but I'm like way down the road, like kind of at the end. Okay. Uh, I was just hoping that you didn't mind that I planted a bunch of dandelion seeds in your yard. Say what? Dandelion seeds. I didn't plant. I, I planted a bunch of dandelion seeds in your yard. Oh, good for you. And well, no, I, I'm just hoping you won't you won't dig them up or, or poison them or anything because they're better for the earth. <laughs> so, well, that's that's good to hear. And when you get the wine made, you can sell me some. Bye. Hey, look, nah, I'm just I'm just trying to help. I, I guess I should come up with the plan for today's show because I haven't had a plan for either of these. Hello. Hi, Bruce. Yeah. It, it's Kevin from the comptroller's office here with... Okay. Uh, just calling to let you know they're going to be out tomorrow to install some loudspeakers in front of your house. They're just putting it on a big pole right in uh, kind of your front yard. Why? Uh, it's going to be a loudspeaker. Yeah, but why, why are you putting in loudspeakers? Oh, they're putting them all throughout the, the neighborhood and the city. Uh, they're, they're going to play the sounds of birds chirping through them. It just kind of makes people, uh, you know, calm down a little bit. Makes people huh. more, more cheerful. Can't you find another way to waste money? Oh, no, it's not a waste of money, sir. This is going to be good for the neighborhood and good for the city. It's just going to make everyone much calmer and happier. How did I, how did I get the uh, privilege of having a, a pole in my yard? Uh, we just you know, picked, uh, sort of randomly. Uh, we just, we need to make sure they're all spread out evenly so that no, no matter where you go in, in our city, you can hear the birds chirping. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
Well, I guess I have no say, do I? No, you do not. I, I was just calling to let you know that we're going to be uh, bringing that trucks over tomorrow and laying down some concrete foundations and installing a large pole. And then they'll probably uh-huh. come, come this weekend and install the loudspeaker on top. Oh, boy. Pointed in four directions. Yeah. Of chirping, well, chirping birds. Oh, goody. Um, I don't know why you have such an attitude with me. I'm just... You know, I'm just the messenger. I don't I'm have just, an attitude with you. Well, I'm just the office worker, sir. Well, I I was never called before and asked if I would mind having this in my yard. Oh no, we don't Which do I that. I do. No, we. I know that, and I don't. I don't particularly care for that. Okay. Well, they they tried to pick people that didn't have very nice yards, so they, they, you know we we did our best, but sometimes. Sometimes some people just don't like them in their yards. It's not like you're out there doing anything with your yard. It's no, just, I know that. It's just a green plot of land. Yeah. You can look across the street and see that. Mm-hmm. So if you want to see green grass, just look at your neighbors. No big deal. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for calling. All right. I love you. Yeah. Now say it back, please. Well, he took that well. He... Seemed to completely believe it, but he's just like, fuck it. I don't know what I can do about it, so I'm going to have a bird speaker in my yard. I should have told him it'd be window level. On his second story, the speaker is going to be aimed straight at your window. I hope that's not your bedroom. Hi, this is the Bakers. Please leave a message. Yuck. 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 There, that was my message. Hello. Hi, is Joel there? Ask is calling. It's Randy from the Comptroller's office here at the city. How can I help you? Uh, you could put Jerry on the phone. Joel, I mean. Who's Jerry? Joel. It's Ooh, about I'm the trucks sorry, we have. In, from... It's about the trucks we have coming out tomorrow to install the pole in your yard. Now, can I talk to, uh, to Joel? Wow. Well, um, hold on just a moment. <sighs> I'm sorry. Did you say you're calling with the city? Yes, in the comptroller's office. The comptroller's office? Okay, since you insist on being Joel's secretary, just let him know we'll be out with the trucks tomorrow. We've been installing a, we'll be installing a pole in your front yard. We're putting down the concrete what are we footings. Installing? Concrete footings. And what is, I don't know what that's regarding. Are you sure that's you just don't want to go get Joel and let the men handle it? Wow. Um, can I speak with your supervisor? Uh, it's just You're not going to speak to me that way. Okay. You'll, I, I, you'll, probably, your supervisor. you'll probably like the supervisor because she's a woman. Just just a minute. Let me, wow, you let, are me, extremely let me put you on hold. Go ahead and put me on hold. Okay. Yo, shush your mama. Don't speak to me like that again before I drive down to city and have a conversation with you in person. Okay. Hello, this is Carol. Can I help you? Hi, Carol. Um, what department do you work with? I'm in the comptroller's office here at the city. Okay, so who is the gentleman that I'm speaking with on the phone prior to being... Oh, that, that was Joel. He's making the calls today. It looks like he was calling to let you know they're going to be out tomorrow morning to install the concrete footings. In your, what in your front what yeah. concrete footing? We don't know anything about that. And I'm trying to ask him a question. He's basically telling me to let the man handle it and that um, to, to hand over the phone. Oh, I see. Uh, first of all, I don't is, appreciate anyone talking to me that way. Is, is the man I, I there? I don't care what he's doing. Okay, that's nice, honey. Is the man there, though? Why does the man need to be there? Uh, we were supposed to talk to Joel, the, the owner of the house. How do you know I'm not the owner of the house? You didn't even bother to ask me. So where's your office located and your name? And I will come down and speak with you guys in person. Oh, it's always something with you women. Uh, just, just don't worry always about it. They'll be out tomorrow morning. And there's going to be a concrete footing uh, right at the edge of your lawn. They're going to be digging up the yard and pouring some concrete right. and putting the pole up for the loudspeaker. Well, we don't need the pole, but you're... Oh, it's happening. You're, it's already been decided. Oh, I'm sure it has. I don't think you're calling with city. Of, I don't think we hire people that speak to people the way you guys are. Uh, you don't hire us. We're elected, idiot. <laughs> just put Joel on the Hello? phone. That's all we wanted. Just put Joel on the yeah, phone. This, Jeez. This is Joel. Oh, hey, Joel. Now I can talk like myself again. Hey, it's uh, Randy from the city. 
Uh, we're going to be coming the out in the morning to install the city. No, no you're con- not. Yes, we are. We're no, going to be putting not. some concrete footings down. And we're you're gonna you, you you're not gonna do shit. Oh yes, we are. It's an easement. It's right there on the edge by the sidewalk. I don't care. What's my address? You don't know your own address. Okay, six oh six. No, you tell me my address. I'm trying to shut up. Six oh six. Please. <laughs> if this, first of all, this is a prank because no one from the city would talk like this. Yeah, but I sure got your your wife riled up, didn't I? Man, she was pissed. That was hilarious. No, she's not pissed. She's oh, I don't pissed. know. You didn't hear I the whole it's thing. Uh, it's funny, though. I like it. Yeah, me too. I, I had a good time. Uh, tell her thank you yeah. for me. Give her I a will. Pinch. Thank, you for the, thank you for the prank. Give her a pinch on the behind. Yeah, and, yeah um, I'll give your wife a pinch on the behind. How about that? Just hang up the phone. <laughs> See? She's pissed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, High God. five, brother. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. You should make sweet love to her tonight. Make her feel better. Oh, he's gone now. So I think it was like back in 2019, Mr. Biggs told me that a city near him actually plays bird sound effects through speakers to make people happier. And I don't think Mr. Biggs would lie. I didn't look into this. Oh, here's an article from Newsweek.com. Couple finds speakers making nature sounds creepily. Oh, creepily hidden around a new neighborhood. And oh, they're not on a pole. They're just hidden speakers on the ground. That's weird. Aren't people just going to pee on them or something? So this guy on TikTok chronicles the moment he found out nature sounds he was hearing around his new homes. Birds singing, wind blowing, had a decidedly unnatural source. Wireless speakers. What the fuck? They're wireless? Are you sure your neighbors aren't doing this? So I guess by a drain pipe, there were several speakers hidden in the vicinity. There's probably no birds because there's no trees. Looks like they cut them all down. I don't know. I'm just skimming this article. I don't want to read all this. It's a lot of reading. Fuck that shit. I'm just going to keep using this idea of Mr. Biggs and tell people we're installing speakers in their yard. And I'm going to do my speakers on a pole because that makes more sense. Because if I saw some Bluetooth speakers around drainage ditches, I would just be stealing them. Or is he just assuming they're Bluetooth speakers because they're on the ground and they look like his Bluetooth speakers? That's just a speaker, sir. It's hooked up to a wire, I assume. And this list I'm calling from is from a listener named Andy. He sent this to me back in October of last year. And he said everyone in this neighborhood are a bunch of grouches. It's like a, he's telling me entire cul-de-sacs have Trump 2024 yard signs. And there's a yard sale in progress. That doesn't do me much good because that was back in October. So I don't know. Let's just keep calling these and see what happens. Oh, and by the way, part of my note here with on my idea page about these loudspeakers says that I should play Daisy's bird sound effects in the background of making calls so i am they can't hear it but we can that's all that matters daisy used to do entire shows like this with just the bird noises going and i know i did one at some point probably in 2019 i always thought that was a cool part of daisy's show she did a lot of her shows with non-stop bird sounds in the background and i asked her for a copy of it and she sent it to me and now you're hearing it on my show lucky you please try not to complain too much about the bird sounds Because they're supposed to make you happier, you know? You're supposed to be happy and calm. Mark? Hello? Oh, hey. I was calling for Mark. It's Jerry from the city of... Hi. Hi. (laughs) Hey there. This is Eli Nash. This is uh, is, uh, his wife. Oh, hey. Hey there. Oh, I I just needed to let you both know that there's going to be a truck at your house tomorrow. And they're going to be pouring uh, concrete footings and putting a large pole in your front yard in the grass. Why? Uh, it's just for some uh, loudspeakers they're putting up there. So uh, we what? just we just didn't want you to be concerned. There's gonna be a truck there tomorrow, and it's uh, right in the middle of, uh, you know, right in the middle of the yard, but right up by the sidewalk. You know, it's in between the two driveways. No. Why yes. are they gonna put? Why oh. are they gonna put loudspeakers there? Oh, it's so they can play bird noises. They're gonna play bird noises 24 hours a day. And, and, oh, oh man. <laughs> All right, she sees how ridiculous this is. Let me try it right back. Hey, Mark's wife, uh, you hung up on me or something. So they're going to be there tomorrow about 8 or 9 in the morning, okay? Just to pour it hey. Yes? No, that's not okay. Oh, well, no, I wasn't asking permission. I was just letting you know that they, they're going to be there in the morning, and they're gonna st- it's a, a very small concrete footing. It's just for one single pole. It's not like a 5G box footing. 
In fact, now that I think about it, that wouldn't require a footing. That'd be more like a hole. They need to dig a hole and put a pole in it. So we need like the, the telephone pole truck that drives a shitload of pole into the ground. I bet you those things are noisy. Hello? Hi, is Mr. Linden there? Hello, you've reached Chris and Rosemary. Please leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Hello, Chris? Are you there? It's your neighbor. Hello, it's Roy. Pick up, pick up, pick up, Chris. Rosemary, it's me, it's Roy. It's your neighbor. Hello. Hello. Oh my gosh, thank God you picked up. <laughs> What's up? Is Chris there? He is. Okay. Hey, hello. Hey, Chris. It's Roy from the city of <laughs> and the comptroller's department. Yes. I'm calling to let you know uh, the trucks are going to be out there tomorrow to in install a pole in your front yard. They are? Yes, it's going to be right there by the sidewalk. And you didn't respond to the letter we sent you, so I'm just letting you know they're going to be there in the morning, about 8 or 9 with the trucks. Uh, where's the pole going to be? Uh, it's right in the middle, but up by the street. Like in, a, in our front yard? Yeah. Yeah, you've got a bunch of, uh, I don't know, just plants and stuff. It's going to be to the left of the driveway, like on the corner, kind of. Where the light post is? Yeah, right next, well, very close to where the light post is. But it's going to be its own pole. For what? Uh, it's for a loudspeaker. What? A loudspeaker. I hear. Okay. You're putting a loudspeaker in our yard? Right. Well, they're not going to play it that loud. Well, just when they need to, you know, for emergency situations. But uh, mostly it's going to be <clears throat> mostly it's going to be used to play bird sounds. You're kidding me. Oh no. So uh, they're going to be there in the morning, about eight or so nine. When... So. <laughs> so we're going to have bird sounds how often are we going to have bird sounds in our yard oh, it'll be 24 hours a day but they'll turn it down a little bit at night you know it, it goes down at dusk just a little bit but uh yeah we're doing this all over all over town all throughout in your neighborhood where we, what's that <laughs> you're putting them in everybody's yard oh no just uh you know every few blocks because you'll be able to hear them for blocks Okay, well, I, it sounds like you're... Are, you, you are we putting one in your yard? Oh, no. <laughs> nope. Not me. Oh. I mean, so far, you never know. They, they could choose me next. Oh. Is, there huh. a, is there a problem? Well, it's in our yard. I mean, it's like... And it's noise that... Well, it's right there by the sidewalk. It's basically just right by the streetlight. I know. I'm looking right at it right now. Right. Yeah. But you know, it's it's not noise. It's gonna be birds chirping. It's gonna sound nice. It's it's supposed to uh, calm people, just make things generally more peaceful. It's been proven to work if you read the the newspaper articles on these. Huh. So everybody's just happy about these and. Oh no, no. Most people I've talked to have been really upset with me for putting a hole in their yard. But you don't have to pay for it or anything. It's just going to be a pole, just like a light pole. I would hope not. <laughs> I just, it's stunning to me that uh, that something like that would happen. Oh, but, yeah. Well, it's, it's pretty normal these days. A lot of cities in the state are doing it. A lot of areas. Well, your normal and my normal might be different, so. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not my house, so it's not my problem. I'm just supposed to let you know because you didn't respond to the letter. So we got a letter. It, what? Where was the letter? What was the letter in? Our utility bill or what? Oh no, no, it would have been on its own. I, we open all the mail. We don't throw anything away. Probably so. that wife of yours threw it away or something. I don't know. But yep, there was a letter uh, several months ago. I think I think those were sent out back in October. In October, huh? Yep. So, yep, so, there's going to be a loudspeaker. It'll be about a uh, window level of your second story, and it's going to point in four directions. My God. 
God. So you might hear it if you're sleeping in one of those upstairs bedrooms right out front at night, is what I mean. Wow. Wow. But you know, that'll just, be a good that'll good, be a good selling point for our house, I guess. Huh? Yeah, probably. Hell no. <laughs> oh man. All right. Well, I don't see why you're getting a weird attitude about it and cursing at me and stuff. I'm, I'm just, cursing at you. Well, you said hell no. That triggered me. It triggered you. Yes. <laughs> this phone call is not triggering me, though. Okay. Well, that's good to know. You know, most people I've talked to today, they've been very upset with me. Oh. It's probably your attitude about it <laughs> that's upsetting me. My attitude? What's wrong with my attitude? I don't know. If you were getting this phone call, how would you feel? Uh, I don't think I'd care too much. Uh, I mean, really? I, I do live in an apartment, though. That so. might be the... So you didn't pay for... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not emotionally invested in my lawn. I, I could give a shit about the grass outside. Oh, now you're swearing at me. Well, you started it, so I thought we were on those terms now. Oh. Do I know you at all? No. No, I work for the city. Yeah. Never, never met either. I know you. quite a few folks over there, but I'm sure... You know, this yeah. was supposed to be like just a, a quick couple minute phone call. You're sure dragging it out. <laughs> wow. I can't, so what's your name again? Roy. Roy what? No, who. I'm a person. So it'd be who. Roy, what is your name, Roy? What's your full name? Uh, well, I don't see why you would need that. Well. I don't know you. I promise I don't know you. It's a little weird that you think you know me. Wow. I uh, enjoy your day, Roy. Okay. There, also, uh, you know that water shutoff valve there in your front yard? Yes. They're also going to be adding uh, automated uh, turn off and turn on into that. So you're probably going to see some people in, working in that box too. And uh, the, the pole with the speakers on it, that's going to go about halfway in between the light pole and that box. I'm just looking at the map here. Come to wow. think of it, it kind of blocks the stop sign. That's pretty dumb. But whatever, it's not my problem. Nothing seems to be your problem, Roy. Yeah. All right, Roy, you have a great day. Well, I just think all, everyone there in your cul-de-sac should know to stop right there, unless they're idiots. I hope you have a different way of speaking to other folks. All right, thank you, Roy. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll just say passive-aggressive things like that. I'll be like you instead. How's that? Is that better? Roy, are they paying you to do these? Of course. Why would I do this for free? Because somebody should what? be monitoring how you're speaking. Why would to, I take uh, this kind of abuse from people like you for free? The city of the citizens of don't need this kind of a phone call. Hmm. Um, hey, when your wife picked up the phone, did the answering machine keep going? Uh, no, it doesn't. Ah, darn. I was going to say it'd be really funny if you had this whole thing on recording. You could show your friends. Because they're probably not going to believe it. Hmm. You know about All the right. poll? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry that you hate birds so much. It Thank sound, you. sounds like you need the extra cheerfulness in your front yard. Yeah. You douche canoe. Excuse me? I said uh, thank you. Have a nice day. You as well. All right. I love you. Give, give Rosemary some kisses. He must have not heard me on the answering machine since I was yelling that I was their neighbor and stuff. But man, nobody's really gotten that pissed about this whole thing yet. They mostly just sound mildly inconvenienced. Hello. Hi, Theodore. Yes. Uh, this is Randy from the city. Of I'm here in the comptroller's office. Okay. Uh, I was calling to let you know the trucks are going to be there tomorrow to install a pole in your front yard. So uh, they're going to arrive about um, 8 or 9 in the morning tomorrow. Okay, they're going to install a pole? Yeah, like a, a big pole. Kind of like a light pole. There's a light pole out there already. Yeah, well this isn't a light pole. It's going to be for a loudspeaker. What? Uh, it's a loudspeaker. You know, speakers like in uh, four different directions. 
So it's not going to be by the light pole. It's going to be closer to your driveway, but right by the yeah, sidewalk. You bumped your head. Sorry, what? You bumped your head. You're not putting no light pole out there like that. Yeah, well, it's not me doing it because uh, I work here in the office, but they're going to send a work crew out tomorrow. No, they're and, not. Uh, yeah, they absolutely are. And the the truck, it's pretty loud, the thing that uh, hammers the pole into the ground. So okay. I just we're, we're supposed to call and let you know about that. If you show up here, I'm going to call the cops and have them thrown off my property. Uh, like I said, idiot, I'm not going to show up. I'm just an office worker. But there hey, will don't be call a. Me work... names, dude. Well, you're being kind of an idiot. There will be no, a. Oh, work... you're being a fucking asshole. You're telling me you're going to put a fucking light pole in my fucking driveway? Yeah. Once again, I'm not going to do it. It's going to be a work crew that's going to be sent out there. I don't give a shit. You're not doing it. Uh, I'm not going to be doing it. The work crew is going to be doing it at 8 or 9 tomorrow morning. <laughs> You're a fool, dude. Why am you're I a fool? You're not putting no fucking light pole in my fucking lawn. You're the one that keeps thinking that I'm going to do it, even though I repeatedly tell you I'm not the one doing okay, it. Okay, that's fine. Just an office uh, worker. Then your workers are not going to come here and do it. Yes, they are. That's why I'm calling you. No, they're you. not. Why would I be calling you otherwise? I don't Because you're an idiot. I'm an idiot because I work for the city and I'm, I'm calling to notify you? I don't care. You're not putting no fucking megaphone fucking light thing in the middle of my fucking lawn it's out here. It's not a megaphone. They're going to play bird sounds through it. It's to calm people like you. You're a stupid idiot, dude. I'm a stupid idiot. Yeah, you're an idiot. Okay. You're going to play calming bird noises out of this loudspeaker. Okay, apparently you've never lawn. heard of this before, but it is a thing. Just look it up on the internet. Search the news. Maybe. I don't care. You're not putting a pole in my fucking lawn. I can tell you probably don't care about the news. You're not that type of person to take an interest in local affairs. But uh, we did send you a letter, and you ignored the letter, so now I'm calling you, and we'll you be there in the morning. You sent me a letter when? Uh, well, it wasn't me that sent the letter. But the city oh, sent you a letter again, back, you? back in October. So just be prepared for that in the morning and uh, try not to call the workmen idiots all morning. <laughs> You're a fool, dude. You're not putting no fucking pole in my front lawn. Yeah, I, I know that, I know that I'm not. I will be asleep dude. tomorrow at 9 in the yeah. morning. I, tomorrow I have the day off. Yep. Uh, I'm going to find out where of, you live, and I'm going to come and put a pole in your fucking front yard. Uh, no, you're not allowed to do that because you don't work for no, the city really? like Neither I do. are you. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm not doing it. It's going to be the work crew. They are yeah, authorized to do so, that kind of work on the easement in front of your lawn. <laughs> you're a moron. I thought I was a fucking idiot. Well, you're a fucking idiot, too. I thought I was just a regular idiot. You keep changing your insults. <laughs> you need to be more consistent. You're from the comptroller's office, huh? Correct. Really? Yeah, really. Okay. So you have fun tomorrow freaking out at the poor work crew that's just doing their jobs. Well, if it thinks a wood pole, dude, you better have freaking uh, a lot of a lot of good lawyers or whatever because I'm going to fucking sue the shit out of you for a pole in my fucking yard. No, I don't think you'll sue the shit out of me because, once again, I'm just an office worker. I'm just making oh, the phone call see, to you. Once again, I'm just an office worker. I know You keep saying that I, you're, I, like, I need lawyers because I'm going to need to defend you're myself in court. You're not putting a pole in my front yard. Okay, well, talk to the city about it. Don't yell at me. I'm just an office worker. <laughs> and maybe you should, like, open your mail in the future, and that way you would have known about this months open ago. Open my mail? So you selected this house right here? Yes, there's several houses in your neighborhood. They're going to have poles up there with speakers on them, and they'll be used for civic stuff, you know, if there's a nuclear war or something, but mainly they're just going to be used to play bird sounds and just, you know, nature sounds. <laughs> okay. Hey, hang on one second, okay? No, I've got to hang up. I don't know what you're doing, but I don't want any part in it. I'm going to I'm gonna talk to my neighbors right here and let them know you're going to put a pole in my front well, yard Well, you tomorrow. just do that without me on the phone, you fucking moron. <laughs> you don't need a pair of sneakers, do you? Huh? You don't need a pair of sneakers, do you? No, I don't. Tell them Are you're you going to have there? some speakers on a pole in just a few more days. Did he hang, he hung up on me? I don't know if you guys could hear the neighbor in the background, but he's like, hey, you don't need a, a set of speakers, do you? Which was quite the coincidence. Maybe he thought his neighbor was in on it. I bet you he walked over to that neighbor and punched him in the mouth. He's like, motherfucker, you're the one that just pranked me, aren't you? And then punch. Oh, crap. It looks like we have a call coming in. And guess who's going to answer? Hello, this is the comptroller's office. Carol speaking. Hi, my name is Ted. Hi, Ted. And I just got a call from somebody in your office. Okay. Who that was that? Should from I your office? Well, I don't know who you're talking about. Who, do you need me to transfer you to somebody? No, I don't. I just got a guy that told me that there's going to be a work crew here tomorrow to put a pole in the middle of my yard. 
in the middle. I, it'd probably be more like um, in the front by the sidewalk. Is it? Is it for the speakers? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Yeah, they're they're, they're gonna. I don't. Oh, Ted, I, I, I don't have my computer up right now, but I, I believe they're doing uh, several of those tomorrow. Okay, but uh, I, I didn't give nobody permission to put no speaker thing in or pull in my front yard. Oh, it's an easement. We don't need permission. We're just going to kind of, you know, it's just a little pull right there in the front by the sidewalk. Yeah, no, you're not. It's, it's like the light pole. You know, I don't some, care. Some put it on the light pole right there. What's that? Put it on the light pole. Oh, no, no, this is a different system. We can't put the speakers on the light poles. You're not putting that in my front yard. Oh, yeah. I never agreed that you could do that in my front yard at all. Oh, no, there's going to be a work crew there, it looks like, tomorrow, uh, depending on which I don't care when house. they show up here. I'm going to cut that thing off if you put it in my front yard. No, no, you can't cut it, do you can't cut it off. It's impossible. Who said I can't? Well, it's, it's a pole. I don't care what it is. Well, if you cut down city poles, you know what's going to happen. The police are going to show tomorrow. up. She's from the comptroller's office. Well, did you actually when, need when, anything when, then, or huh? Did you actually need anything? Yeah, don't send your crew out here because they're not going to put no pole in my front yard. Oh, this has already been said and done. You know, we all voted on it. The the I don't care what city. you voted on. Okay, well you're what? not putting no pole in my front yard. Right. Well, it's going to be the work crew. It's not going to be me personally. I know you. You I, people are all the same. The other guy just told me the same thing. It's not going to be me. I didn't say it was going to be you. I, I said you people are not going to do this. Uh, you people. What? What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> you people have got to be kidding me. So, you people. So you're just you're making Lincoln. a prank call. Is that it? You're making a prank call. Is this what no, you do with your days? No, you're making a prank phone call. I, I answered the phone, Don't sir. Don't tell them not to show up in my yard here tomorrow because I'm going to call the cops and have them thrown off my property. Oh no, you can't do that. These are city workers. Oh, you can't do that because they're city workers? I don't care what they are. Okay, well, you can't be cutting down poles that the city installs, just like you, you can't, can't cut down that light pole. You can't yard because I never said you could do that. You can't be cutting down that light pole. Did, did you tell them they could install the light pole? That was here before I moved in here, lady. Okay, well, uh, this new pole. And you should have installed your speaker then, and it's going to play bird sounds? Correct, yeah, 24-7. They're going to turn them down at night, though, just a little you bit. You people are a bunch of morons. <laughs> Everyone's a Everyone's a moron to that guy. Last night on Devin's show, we both talked to this guy separately, and he had kind of the same attitude. He was just an incredibly smart guy. Everyone around him was just a complete moron. He just had to spend his entire life dealing with morons. And he said all this stuff to Devin, and then when I called an hour later, he used the same lines on me, kind of like that guy does. Except that guy wasn't as creative. He was just calling me an idiot, and a fucking idiot, and a fucking moron, and a regular moron. And you know what? I don't appreciate it. His words are triggering me. Hello. Hello, Ronald. Yeah. It's Gary from the city of... I was yep. calling to let you know uh, there's going to be a work crew there tomorrow. They're going to be installing a pole in your front yard. And that's going to start about 8 in the morning. So we just wanted you to be prepared just so you know what's going on. A pole in my front yard. Yeah, a, a tall pole. Kind of like a light pole. Okay. But uh, this is going to be a poll for speakers. Speakers, wow. Yes. Okay. And uh, it's going to be in your front yard uh, right there uh, on the corner. Okay. But, but it, it'll be in the grass, but, you know, right up there by the sidewalk. Okay. And they're going to they're gonna install speakers on the top of it, and they're going to play bird sounds 24 hours a day. But I won't be able to hear it. Oh, you'll be able to hear it. You'll, you, they should be able to hear it for about three blocks. They're putting these out about every three or four blocks. I don't play bird sounds. Yeah, you know, just nature sounds. It calms people down so they're less grouchy. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. Tomorrow morning, 8 in the morning. It's a very loud machine, the, the machine that pounds the poles into the ground. Yeah. So, okay. You know, don't, don't, be, don't be going out there and yelling at people for making so much noise. Okay. All right. What are you doing right now? What are you watching? Uh, I'm watching the news. <laughs> well, what's on the news? The Ukraine war. Oh, that's so boring. You should watch something fun. I think yeah. uh, Jeopardy comes on soon. No, I don't, don't watch that. Oh, you should watch some Jeopardy. Jeopardy's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, I love you. Yeah, that was dumb. 
And you know what? I'm looking at the poles in these people's yards, you know, the existing poles. And they are like little square concrete footings, and they have the metal pole that's bolted down there. So apparently I don't know anything about pole installation, but I guess a modern suburban neighborhood, they're not going to have wooden poles in the ground. They're going to have those fancy metal streetlight poles with nothing else on them. No speakers attached to them or anything. Please check the number. Uh-oh, here's another call coming in. Not sure who it is. Hello. Comptroller's office, can I help you? Hi, um, which comptroller's office is this? I'm a okay. I didn't know we had a comptroller. I thought we just had a city manager and a mayor. Okay, well, you, you just called the comptroller's office. How'd you get this number? Um, well, uh, I got it from my husband who said he received a call from a very rude gentleman saying you guys are putting a pole in my front yard tomorrow to oh, make bird I, sounds. Oh, I think I remember him. Uh, is he the one yeah, he that... Called. that um, often calls people idiots and morons and fucking idiots. Yeah. Yeah, and that's I guess him. I told my husband he was too. Oh, no, uh, no, we, we don't talk like that here. But uh, I do remember him uh, continuously calling me and Roy here in the office idiots and morons. And Is he like that? Does he my think, husband did? Yeah, does he think he's smarter than everybody else? No, and my husband doesn't talk that way. Oh, you said just a minute ago that he did. Huh? You said just a minute ago that he did. No, he doesn't. He told me that somebody, that a gentleman called and was very rude to him and called him an idiot. No, he's just, moron, he's projecting. And said that they were put in the pole. He's projecting? Yeah, I think he's projecting. Are you kidding? You're really with the comptroller's office. So what's your um, direct dial number then? Well, you're saying you're not even that person. So maybe I got the wrong person? I'm telling you I'm the homeowner at 15 Lane, and I have not received any notification that anyone is putting a pole in my yard. Well, except for the phone call. Because I didn't tell you about it. You just called here and told me about it. So, I called here because my husband just called me and said he got a phone call from a very rude man letting him know that we're coming, they're coming out and that we should have read our mail. Was he whining? I open my mail. I pay my mail every two weeks. And, ma'am, I work for <laughs> County for the auditor controller. I'm his executive assistant. Your husband? I know. No. Oh. My boss oh. is the auditor controller for the county. I know most of the people in the city office. and <laughs> I've never heard of a comptroller. I never received a letter, and I'll be home tomorrow. Well, that's um, nice, honey. I guess that's nice waiting be home. for someone. And extreme, and uh, the way you talk to somebody. What is your name, by the way? Uh, my name's Carol. Carol, what? Gersperms. How do you spell that, please? Uh, T H A T. And uh, you know, just just like calm down and everything. This if just, you really this work for, for the city, give me your name. I already, I just did, Carol Gersperms. It's common spelling. I can't even understand what you're saying. Gersperms. Spell your last name, please. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Listen. Just, just, if you just, really work for the city, and I'm starting to doubt you really do, how do you spell your last name does, so I can confirm you actually work there? Does your husband always come to you when he has a problem and someone hurts his feelings? Um, no, my husband called me because I'm half owner on the property, and he knows I work for the county auditor controller who serves on several committees and boards with the city of and neither of us whoa, 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 whoa. Calm, down. Calm, calm down calm down calm down calm down i'm not Just... going to calm down you're being very rude to me and you're telling me that you guys are going to come put a pole in my front yard well we told that to your husband not you lady you're about ready to get me to come there if you actually work for the city of for what you don't even know where this place is apparently I've never heard of the comptroller. Um, I don't here. think you have anything to do with it because you don't have the city of prefix. You don't have the city of area code. And quite frankly, you've been quite rude and a bitch. So I doubt you really work for him. I think just look at, sort of scam. Look, at, look at Mrs. But Sherlock Holmes over here. here. Yep, Mrs. Sherlock Holmes. So if you want to show up at my house, you apparently have my address. Feel free to come and meet me in person tomorrow. Well, it's not going to be me showing up. I'm just an office worker here in the comptroller's no, office. No, because it's you don't be even a... know how to spell hey, your hey, own hey, name. Hey, hey, calm down, calm down. Uh, it's going to be how the do city. You, what's your last name, Carol? I already told you that twice now. It's Gersperms. Carol Gersperms. Common spelling. Dirtburn? Yeah. In... Dirtburn? No. D-I-R-T-B-U-R-N? Now you're just being mean. You're just calling me. No, calling I'm me... trying to understand what your last name is. Calling me if names. If you can't spell like it, how school. am I supposed to? 
Is it dirt burn? <laughs> no. How do you say it then? Ma'am, I, I have shit to do, okay? I've, I've got an office to run you here. You have shit to do? You don't work for the city. A city employee would never speak to a taxpayer that way. Oh, you I, do have shit to do. But I don't know if a taxpayer would ever, ever call themselves a do taxpayer, you, you fucking kill? weirdo. Feel free to send you or your crew or whomever you think is coming to my house tomorrow, and I will be there happily to meet you. That's hilarious that you're going to stay home and wait for this imaginary poll. I work from home on Fridays. I'm not staying at home for you, but I'll be there, and I bet you by the end of the day there's no poll in my front yard. All right. You're a genius, then. You win the call. I love you. Okay. You have a wonderful day, Miss Dirtburn. <laughs> it's not Dirtburn, you asshole. <laughs> I didn't say anything like Carol Dirtburn. The lady's just a name caller is what she is. Hello? Hi, Danny. Hello? Danny? Who is this? It's Kevin from the comptroller's office with the city of... Yeah? I was just calling to let you know we're, the workmen are going to be out there tomorrow to install the pole in your front yard. We didn't... What pole? Oh, there's going to be a, a pole with speakers on top of it in your uh, front yard. In the grass, just by the, the by the street, you know, by the sidewalk. Why is that? Uh, well, you know, it's for the speakers. Speakers for what? I didn't ask that. Oh no, it's not for you. It's for the whole neighborhood. It's gonna play uh, bird sounds, like nature sounds. Do we get paid like, for this? No, it's to make you happier, so you're less grouchy. I but, don't. I don't. Don't. Don't smart off to me, okay? No, I'm not. I want to know what. The, I'm not. Yeah, oh, they're putting. They're putting some in my house, and I don't even know about it, huh? Yeah, well, they did send a letter to you. You must have ignored the letter and thrown it away or something. I don't know. But What yeah. am I supposed to... What are you calling me about? I'm just calling to let you know, since you didn't respond to the letter, that uh, they're going to be there about 8 or 9 in the morning to uh, start banging the pole into the ground. I don't, I, don't know that, I don't know about this. I don't think about it. It's a very loud process. My, uh, I don't want my yard tore up. Oh, it won't be torn up. It's just going to be one hole, kind of close to the sidewalk. We're going to put a big hole, a big pole. The sidewalk goes right down along my driveway, right in the middle of the yard. Yeah, yeah. So you probably won't even notice it there. And then they're going to put. Uh, uh, I bet I do. Four speakers up on top of the pole. Aimed I don't. I don't. Can you call back later when my wife's here? I don't want to talk about this. Okay, well, just tell her that the 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 bird pole is going to be up in the morning. All right. You don't know nine. what you're talking about. All right. I don't know what I'm talking about. Here's another call coming in. No idea once again who it is. Comptroller's office is Carol. Can I help you? Yeah, what office is this? Well, who's this? I just got a call saying somebody's going to install a bird pole in my front yard. Oh, yeah, it is Roy. He's in the other room making calls. This is the comptroller's office. The comptroller for Yeah, Lincoln. Yeah, for the city. We're, we're just, they're going to be uh, installing a pole in your front yard. It's for uh, bird sounds. And, uh, well, I've never heard of that before and stuff like that. Well, probably just because you don't keep up with current events. Uh, just do a search on Google for, uh, you know, bird sounds, bird sound poles in neighborhoods. I it's, just did. It's and a I, real thing. I just did, and I didn't find anything. I, I did it at the city of... Okay. Yeah, you got to use the Boolean terms. Do, do a Google search for Boolean terms. How do I spell that? I don't know. B O O L -A, I don't know. Honestly, I haven't even heard that word in like 20 years. I don't even do know if search. it's. Huh? Yeah, I'd like I'd like to do that, but uh, is your husband available? My husband. Or you say somebody's in another room making a call, making calls. Oh yeah, the office. Yeah, this is a city I'm building. I'm I'm not married to the office workers okay. here. Okay. You, you weirdo. Okay. Okay, so this is the, uh, and what's the department name? Uh, the Comptroller's Office. So, I mean, it's no big deal, you know, just, just uh, you'll see the workmen there in the morning. They'll, they'll be there early, banging that pole into the ground. Just banging away all morning. And how do I learn about this? Bang, bang, bang. Uh, the city of bird sounds pole installation. Metal, wood, with bolts, concrete footings, water shutoff valves. Okay. But use City Boolean. City bird pole. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah, motherfucker. Do it. Woo! What if, what if, what if I say I don't want one? Uh, it's too late. They're, they're installing it in the morning. Yeah. Okay. It's just, a, it's just for bird sounds. It's gonna, it's gonna be very calming. Okay. You're gonna find yourself in a very serene place when you wake up each morning. After okay. hearing bird sounds out your window all night. Don't sound, okay. Whatever, okay. Alright, I love you. Bye. I love you. I was kind of surprised to get a call back from that guy. He didn't seem to care before when I talked to him. Oh, and by the way, I have no idea who the other lady was, the one that said she works for the city, and I talked to her husband. I don't know who that was. I don't remember. But I know it wasn't the guy calling me a fucking idiot and a moron. Uh, hey, Brad, it's Corbin Guy. Hey, Corbin. Hey, look, no ideas today. Just a question. Thank uh, God. What program do you use uh, to build your soundboards, even though you haven't been using them uh, a lot lately? Besides the toilet flushing. Oh, that. You, know, you had some other good sound effects that you can bring back. I know. But, like, um, I've got the whole thing. It's hooked up right here. I can use it. I can play all the sounds. I can play ha -ha. the ha-ha sound and the <laughs> that sound. Really, these all kind of just apply to the phone show, really. I need to update things and not include all the stuff that I don't use anymore. All these musical backgrounds that... I don't use these because they cause copyright alerts. Ah, there's the good old helicopter sound from back when me and Carlito were riding around together in a helicopter. But my soundboard is a physical machine. It's a very old machine, I guess. I think it's from the 90s. And it was donated to me. It's called an Instant Replay 360 by 360 Systems. And it has a bunch of buttons all over it for all the different sound effects. And that's the main thing I use right now, Mr. Corbin Guy. Now, uh, yeah, what program are you using? I'm thinking about... I just told you I'm not using a program. ...building like a Carol O'Connor or a, a, Jamie, a Jimmy Walker soundboard. Not unless there's a good one out there already, or maybe you know where I can find one uh, on Nell Carter. That'd be great. Um, okay. All right. that, that's all. Uh, I'll shut up now. Nell Carter. I don't even remember what kind of stuff she says. It's been a long time since I've heard that name. But I don't use any software anymore for sound effects, but I got a Stream Deck recently, and it's awesome. I'm not using it for streaming at all. I'm using it for editing shows. I've got all my editing buttons on it. So I don't really use my computer keyboard anymore. I just hit all these buttons on the Stream Deck. I will use it for streaming someday, but right now it's just my audio editing thing. And the reason I'm telling you about my Stream Deck is because there is some software called the Stream Deck Soundboard. And I don't believe you need a Stream Deck for this. I think it's just software, but you can add your Stream Deck to it. I might be wrong about that. I haven't downloaded it yet, but I was planning on doing that. So look for that, Elgato Stream Deck. But don't get the Stream Deck, just try out the software. I'm going to do that soon. I don't have any other software recommendations, but I know there are other ones out there because I've used them in the past, but unfortunately I have a horrible memory and I can't tell you what I'm using. Oh, and my other soundboard, the one I use mostly just for the uh, background music and stuff in live shows, that is a $10 prepaid cell phone that I bought from Walmart years ago and I've been using it ever since. I just got a uh, soundboard software to put on the cell phone so I could push buttons and make things go. And it works really good as a soundboard. I've used it as a soundboard before. I used to use a tablet with custom soundboard and you can fit a lot of buttons on your tablet filled with Nell Carter clips. So maybe try that. Just use a tablet. But I bet you the listeners have more suggestions for you. And I see that you've left another four voicemails right ahead of this one. Guess what's going to happen to him, Corbin guy? Hey, Brad. It's Baby Shaker here hey, once more. Baby Shaker. I really love the show. Keep Thanks. doing a good job. I will. You're uh, pretty fucking funny. I'm a pretty and, uh, funny. Yeah. 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 All right. Thanks. Thanks for that. Hey, Brad. Do more goddamn misleading telemarketer calls. Barrel O means yes. That's O means like like a barrel of monkeys. What? Okay. More misleading telemarketer calls. Hello, Bradley. This is Deborah. Hey, uh, I was wondering Hello. where is that uh, video? Where you convince this lady to like bang her pots and pans together from the garage sale? Cause, oh, uh, yeah. Thank you. I think you said they had like a monitor hook up to make sure, like from the dinging, if it was like real or not. Um, it's one of my favorite ones. I just can't find it. So if you could tell me where that is, that'd be amazing. I, I just uh, found it. It is on YouTube. It's from two years ago. It's called Banging Copper Pots Together. That's the title of the video. I just searched for Phone Losers Copper Pots. 
And that was a crazy one here. Let me find where she was actually doing it. Yeah, can you really bang them together? Like, really just bang, bang, bang. Okay, well, let me take them down. I'll yeah. take them down. Okay. Let me see. Like two of the copper ones. Here, let me go forward. Joy to the world. The there Lord we go. has come. Okay, did that help in any way? It's not helping me. <laughs> okay. But you can't hear them? Let me yeah. put the phone up by them. Yeah, it sounds real. Nice. You hear that? She was singing kind of loud. I couldn't even hear the banging pans. But yeah, that's on YouTube. Banging copper pots together. How would I not put that on YouTube? Hey, Brad, it's Synthed. Thanks hey. for putting the Bashley song on your show. I yeah. heard you say, and I keep hearing you say this on your show, that you listen to one show in one ear, and you edit a show you're working on on the other ear. Yeah. And I, that sounds like such a juggle. Yeah. Please tell me more about that. Love you, Brad. Bye. It causes a lot of editing mistakes, I think, and it makes me edit slower because I'm constantly stopping editing to listen to hilarious prank calls. But that's what I do sometimes, not all the time. Not usually, but if there's a show happening and I really want to listen to it, I'll just put one in each ear and usually put the live show on low volume so that I make less editing mistakes. Brad, it's up in reality. What's up, man? Hey. Oh my god, it's so nice to talk to you. If only you talked back. What? What? Oh, hey. I'm that was to give you a chance to talk back. back. So hopefully you hey, get... F hey, man. Uh, I was just listening to a hobo episode. And, dude, the call where you called that guy where his uh, house was blurred out on Google... <laughs> oh my god it just had all the elements from top to bottom on that call i man. think i posted a clip of that on twitter twitter.com slash phone losers i'm pretty sure yeah, it's on there it. uh, if hoping... you're not a supporter and you need to hear some guy freak out about his blurred house then maybe you could replicate that by calling other people with their houses blurred but i don't know yeah maybe it won't work out as well yeah. you should try okay um, i've done them before that's not my first blurred house call that's what i'm here for push you into trying things yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Bye. F in reality. I love you. And I don't know. I've probably done three of those so far. You don't really see a lot of them, but every once in a while you see someone's house that's blurred for whatever reason. Like, what would be the reason? If there's a person out there, they blur the person. Why do you need to blur your whole house? But I think I'm too lazy to seek out blurred houses and then try to look up their phone numbers. Sometimes I just get lucky and I have the phone number of somebody with the blurred house. And don't worry, if I see a blurred house, I'm going to bring it up. Because I always have questions about people who blur their houses on Google. Even though I've done that at, I think, three of my houses just fucking around. Or listeners will blur my house for me. Thanks, listeners. Hey, Brad. This is uh, Klambakis from Iceland. And, hey. Uh, I just wanted to let you know, like, uh, if you didn't know, that, uh, you know, the uh, the Jenny, you know, 509 song, you know. Um, yeah. 867 used to, uh, was, in the beginning, in Iceland, uh, one of the first prefixes for uh, cell phones. That's so there's actually crazy. somebody in Iceland. I was not aware of that. Who has the, the Jenny, you know, phone number. And... Uh, Another thing that I noticed that uh, 420 is also a town near Reykjavik, actually. You know, like the prefix is a common uh, number, 420. And um, I used to have a landline, but I don't anymore. But I, I kind of want to call my uh, service provider and ask them, you know, can I get 420, 69, 69, 69? Was it taken? I don't know. I wonder if it's it taken. Would be, uh, it would be awesome to actually call you from like not spoofing my number but actually call you from 420-6969 that'd be crazy voicemail. do it i know people in the u.s they get the 420-6969 number because i've called a few of them as final bosses since i used to spoof that number a lot and a few times they seem like the type of person that got that number on purpose so yeah look into that hey brad this is dugan nash I've called hey. a couple times before. I just wanted to let you know your last show was extremely good. Thanks. And I love you. So Please. you're saying the one before the last show was shit, huh? I see where you're getting Please at. say it back. Dugan. Please say it back. Oh. No, not after that. Well, I love it when you say you love me. I just wanted to know, is there a link to your archives? I know you've said a hundred times on your website or somewhere on... Snowplowshow.com slash archive. Or is it archives? Just go to snowplowshow.com and click on archives at the top of the page. It's right there. On site. Where and I think they work still. 
Most of them, anyway. Nobody's complained lately, so I think they work, but I think they stop at 2019, maybe? I don't remember. We could download all of the prank calls from other people. Jen Stewart is what I'm looking for, and I've emailed him. Oh, that archive. Damn it. And it seems that he gave up. He gave me the... Forget what I said about snowplowshow.com slash archive, because it sounds like you are looking for the prank call torrent that came out, I forget which year. Oh, yeah, 2020. So I'm going to phonelosers.com slash torrent. That's where you get it. Yeah, it's the one right there on the top. The 2020 prank call media pack. And you're looking for Jen Stewart stuff, though. I don't know if I have any Jen Stewart. I don't think I do. I'm looking through my directories on that media pack. And I don't think I have any Jen Stewart. So listeners who are listening, do you have any Jen Stewart that you'd like to send to me? Did he have a name of his show or was it just the Jen Stewart show? Because I can't find anything, but I could just be missing it. So if anybody has a bunch of Jen Stewart pranks, you should let us know in the comments or somewhere where to find those or email me or leave a voicemail on this show to help Dugan out. Uh, website uh, email address, actually, for Blue Planet Pranks. Oh, yeah. Like, talk to that guy. He plays a lot of Jen Stewart on his stream, BluePlanetPrankRadio.com, I think it is. Blue Planet. Yeah. You know what I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah. And they didn't get yeah. through. They never... They never owned me back. So ah, son of a bitch. I hope you. Uh, I hope you have a great day. Blew it, Ted. And uh, stop winking at me with your butthole. All right, bye, Thank you, sir. And yeah, I don't know what happened to Jen Stewart either. Was he around for the Carlito Memorial? It seems like everyone turned up for that a couple of years ago. I'm sure somebody listening knows what's going on with Jen Stewart or knows where to get his pranks, and we want all of them. Send me all of them. Okay, I'm done with voicemails for now. I still have maybe a dozen January voicemails in here, but I'm getting caught up again. After that, it's just a little bit of November from last year that I got to play. We'll get there eventually. So thanks, everybody, for leaving voicemails. Thanks to the sponsor of today's show, The Sailboat, your boy John Cena, The Antichrist, Lord and Lady of Veggies, and The Least Creative. They support us on the Patreon. You should, too. Patreon.com slash phone losers. Or there are other options in the show notes if you want to support the show. See you next time, everybody. I'm going to end the show with a song that Daisy used to play on her show all the time. Because playing her birds on today's show is really making me miss Daisy. Rest in peace, Daisy. Cactus Incorporated, this is Carol. Can I help you? Oh, hi. My name is Jackie. I'm calling from the City of Public Works Department. Hey, Jackie. Hi. Um, I've gotten a couple of calls um, from people who said that someone called from this number saying that a bird pole was going to be placed in their yard. Well, that sounds crazy. I've been getting calls like this all day. I think some hacker's using my number. I think so, too. Oh, okay, yeah, because this is the number that they two people have given me now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Okay, well, hopefully they I'm don't the, do anything. I'm, I'm the butt of some hacker's joke. Yeah, that they said that they are putting a pole in people's yard that makes bird sounds. Is that a real? Is that really a thing? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> oh, weird. Oh my goodness. Huh. Okay, well, hopefully they don't cause any issues for you with uh, using your phone. Yeah, I've, I've just been like, all, these men are calling me up and yelling at me, and I'm just telling them <gasps> f you. Oh no! They're yeah. yelling at you. Yeah. Well, yeah, but it's fine because I yelled at them first. I told this one lady, "Yo, mama." Oh my gosh. So she's just. I, I got her good. So just, oh my gosh. So you're just, they're just calling you back right and left now, huh? Yeah, honestly, I'm enjoying it. I'm retired. Oh, hey. There you go. Yeah. Well, hopefully uh, they'll stop using it and you'll stop getting harassed. I hope so. This is the first day I've had to deal with something like this. Maybe, maybe yeah. they'll stop tomorrow. Hopefully. Okay, well, if I talk to anybody else, if they call, I'll tell them not to call you and harass you. Okay, or, you know, don't, whatever. <laughs> okay, that sounds good. All right, thank you. I love you. Thanks. Bye. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye.